At 87,000 square kilometers, the Chinese industrial city of Chongqing is larger than Austria. Around 38 million people live here, only slightly fewer than in the whole of Spain. Mumbai is the most densely populated city in the world. 27,000 people share each square kilometer, more than six times as many as in London. The number is rising, both here and in Mexico City, Calcutta, and Shanghai. Mega cities. The world's population is growing rapidly and is finding a home in brand new and ever larger cities around the world. Some megacities are already larger than entire countries in Europe. And the trend is an upward one. The main reason is the flight from the countryside. Agriculture now barely provides the rural population with enough to eat, and the cities promise work and a better life. What this means is that farmers who remain behind have to feed ever more city dwellers. In 1980, just over 100 people living in towns relied on a single farmer for food, but the figure is now well over 200. And the trend is also rising. An increase in productivity is necessary to achieve a sufficient global food supply and also to save our environment and to preserve natural habitats. To serve those two purposes, we need an increased productivity and we also need high-tech agriculture. Food is transported into the cities every day in what is becoming an increasingly challenging logistics operation. Food is produced all around the world. Corn for Iran is grown in Argentina, and grain for Nigeria is raised in the United States. The system is highly sensitive. Crop failures can become a threat. The causes include climate change and extreme weather conditions, but also plant diseases, weeds, and pests. In 2010, the Pathogen Resistance Working Group at the Fraunhofer Institute concluded that up to 40% of the world's harvests are lost to fungal infection alone. This is a dramatic proportion, which the United Nations World Food Program believes could also affect the stability of entire countries in the future. There's an obvious connection between food prices and the political stability in many developing countries. During the great global food crisis in 2008, the world witnessed riots due to hunger in over 30 nations. It was due to these riots that the government in Haiti at the time was forced to resign. And even in the recent upheavals in North Africa, one of the triggers was that people were barely able to pay for their daily bread. It is more or less impossible to develop new arable land. Consequently, attention must be focused on protecting existing crops. Septoria, mildew, rhizoctonia, and botrytis are among the most dangerous fungal pests threatening crops throughout the world. They attack wheat, soybeans, rice, fruit, and vegetables. Bayer has spent six years developing three products to control these fungi and they are now ready to be launched on the market. All three fungicides are based on the same underlying structure and belong to the substance class SDHI. The greatest challenge in controlling fungal diseases in plants is the extraordinary ability of fungi to develop resistance. We have found a new way of overcoming this factor in fungi and it has taken shape in our new substance class. Fungi react like parasites, penetrating the plant and spreading throughout its interior. They deprive the helpless plant of vital nutrients. Mitochondria found inside cells are the powerhouse of life. They use biochemical processes to supply the energy needed for vital metabolic processes. One of these processes is the respiratory chain. In this process, electrons are divided from energy-rich key molecules and transferred to a transport mechanism. The new substance class interrupts the transport of electrons very effectively by blocking a receptor onto which the energy-rich molecules dock to transfer the electrons. The cell's energy supply collapses and the fungus can no longer metabolize. By combining our new active substances with established products, we have found a totally new approach to controlling fungi and their ability to develop resistance. But this is not all that the new substances can do. As part of the registration process, Bayer scientists 
tested the new substances in the laboratory, in the greenhouse, and under real-life conditions, and discovered that the new products have some surprising added benefits. Fruit treated with the new products could be stored in good condition for much longer than untreated fruit. In addition, plants remained green for up to 15% longer, and yields were up to 25% higher. We think these effects are due to the fact that plants treated with our new substance are able to thrive because they're completely unaffected by fungal pests. This leads to an overall improvement in the quality and quantity of the harvests. Plants produce higher yields and also remain in good condition for longer while they're being transported to the consumer. A fight against fungal infestation using the new ideas and approaches developed by Bayer is a promising development in the world's efforts to feed its population, and not just in the megacities of the world.